Application Series in YouTube Tutorials uh, for MATLAB. Today we're looking at data visualization courtesy of Chad Green. So obviously I'm not Chad Green, I'm Anson Griffin, but just gave you there. And so we're looking at data visualization. So you'll need to download uh, three pieces of MATLAB code from Chad, spiral plot, GIF, oops, sorry about that, and CB date. And you also may want to look at spirals from this climate book and the sea ice index. So we'll talk about the actual data itself in a second. And why did I do this? So just analysis of seasonal data. Data visualization, you know, it's not just Tableau or something like that. You'd be using and also how to make a GIF. And there's myself and some Griffin. So I think we can get rid of that bit anyway. Uh, just to give where credit is due. Climate spirals, that's just, see down here, just to, different spirals to which sort of inspire this. Global temperature change, etc. And you can click for animated versions. So we're going to make animated versions of sea ice. So I can shut that down. There's the spiral plot, the main bit of the code. There's Chad wrote this how to make a GIF. And CB date is all about getting your um, your your figures with the right um, ticks and strings, you know, your figures, your annotation of the x-axis, y-axis, etc. So I can shut that down. There's the result. Now I published it and I made a a PDF of it, so let's go through it one by all. So we load the sea ice extent. So this is the extent of the sea ice from I think uh, 90. I'll see you now in a second. I think it's can't remember where it is now. Just give me one sec. Yeah, 80, 82 to 2015. Okay, so a uh, sea ice extent is there, it's preloaded. And there's just you call Chad spiral and just get a spiral, which isn't bad. You can see it there. But as I would say to my students, there's no legend. So you don't know what year is what. And also around here that the center is four meters tick. In there, it's what, 15 meters tick. So we're going step by step, just following Chad's documentation. And... We're going to do the set limit, so we're going to put a zero in the middle rather than the minimum, which is a four. So we've improved it a little bit again, zero in the middle and going out. Now we're going to do the Z tick, so this is where we're using uh, to get a better looking graph again. Okay, so we're just going out there. Just uh, hold that one sec. So we're doing it there. So specific values 3, 8.2 and 15. Color bar for time. So we're using CB date. I showed you where that function was. And we're using a color bar. And there's our color bar from the start of time to the end of time. And now at least now, if a student handed that up to me, at least I know what's yellow and at least I know what's dark blue. And we can see, obviously, that over time, the sea ice extent is shrinking for all months in 2015 compared to the early 80s. So... Format the axis label text, so we're just formatting it there. And now we're going to make a GIF. So we're going from 1980 to 2017. I'm not going to go through it line by line, just you can look it up yourself. And then we're going to loop here. From, we've done the first one up there, and then we'll go from 2 to 2015. 
we make the GIF, we write the GIF to file, and then to see the GIF down here, this is the only thing that isn't slightly clear, to get the animated version of it, we say have to say web ci6.gif. Now, I ran this program already because it takes a bit of computing power. We think about you know 40 seconds a minute for MATLAB to run it. And then when I run it, I get that animated GIF there. So just one last thing again. This isn't immediately clear from the uh, the text from the description. That's the command to make the animated GIF or to see the animated GIF. Okay, so hope that helps. I found that interesting, and I just found it interesting because you can see there with the data visualization, you can see that definitely the CI's technique is uh, getting less and less, or the CI's thickness is getting less and less over time. Okay, so I hope you found this informative. I hope you found it helpful, and thanks very much for listening.